moving on, we have a second member of the family, courtesy of Millie Wajizas and Kabi Wajizas. They are pregnant with their second child together. This and more stories on the gossip segment. It looks like a couple of our favorite celebrities were busy last year making babies. Kabi Wajizas and Millie Wajizas are expecting their second child together. They made the announcement by putting up a billboard which Kabi surprised Millie with. The billboard is a photo of Millie's baby bump photo shoot, which they did as a family, all dressed in white. The couple will have a total of three children, two together and one Kabi got in his early years. Kenyan singer Mudoni drama queen is also expecting her first child together with her partner. She made the announcement on her social media pages by posting some cute photos of herself heavily pregnant and comfortable in her home together with her partner. Neither of the couple have spoken about the gender of their babies or due date yet. Congratulations are definitely in order to the two couples. Being an artist means putting in some extra work to make sure you stay relevant. Gengeton Trio Boozy Gang have been working hard ever since they dropped their song Shamra Shamra. Signed under Black Market Records, they have now released an album titled Three Wise Goats. This is their debut album. The album has 10 tracks with an additional of two bonus ones. They've collaborated with several artists from the country and more from East Africa. They have already dropped one of their songs from their debut album titled Happy Birthday, featuring Kenyan artist KRG The Dawn and Lava Lava. Mbuzi Gang have been doing a great job and they are definitely redefining Gengeton music and we are here for it. Elsa Majimbo is going bigger and bigger by the day. She was recently hosted by Steve Harvey on his show and they had a conversation about how she came to be. Wowed by how young she is and making such major moves, Steve Harvey adopted her as a niece. He asked her to call him whenever she has a problem and he will help her in whatever way she needs. He went ahead to say that he wants to bridge the gap between African American and African. I'm going to adopt you as my niece. I'm going to give you my phone number. I don't care what you need. If you need anything, you need a place to go, you need some help, you need some advice, you want to talk to somebody, you call me. I, and I, I'm serious, and I, I don't want to let nothing happen to you. Because, you know, it's been one of my main goals is to bridge the gap between Africa and, and, and African Americans. If you've never been, you have to go. But you know what I love most about it? It's the first time in my life in 60 some years that I wake up in the morning and, I, and I'm not a minority. It's crazy. It's an incredible place, man. But Elsa, you got an uncle in the United States. Anytime you need something, Uncle Steve got you, and I'm gonna get you all, I'm gonna give you all the advice you want, and we gonna go over here, we gonna be, we gonna be, woo! We gonna be, be. Steve was in awe of how young people have many opportunities to make money in the non-traditional manner and encouraged her to take charge of her talent like he did because there's only one Elsa. Well, she walked away of the interview as Steve's new adopted niece with access to him anytime. Who wouldn't want that? God of Elsa, please locate us as well. Allow me to take a short breather, but I leave you with this amazing song by Otile featuring Harmonize Woman. Check